This is Shred, and welcome to Music Theory Boot Camp. Today we'll be talking about intervals, or the distance between two notes. Now I'll be using excerpts from my Music Theory course today, which you can get the full copy of on my Patreon page below. There you can also access my Scale Bible, Chord Bible, Modal Mayhem course, Modal Masterclass, Exotic Scale Bundle, and hundreds of YouTube lessons. It's a ridiculous deal. All it costs you is your soul. That's in the fine print though, so don't worry about it. <laughs> now grab your axe and let's get to it. The smallest interval in Western music is the minor second or half step. That'd be a C to a C sharp note. Okay, so here we are in Guitar Pro, and I'm going to write these out so it's easier to see what's going on. The first interval that we have is going to be a minor second interval, or the distance of a half step on the guitar. So if we're on the guitar here from C to C sharp, or D flat, same note, that's a minor second. You can play them together like this. It's a biting cringing dissonant sound and the most common song that we reference for this is Jaws and it's an E and F in the actual movie very scary next is the major second interval or C to D it's less dissonant than the minor second and it contains a whole step in between notes The opening riff in Judas Priest Breaking the Law contains a major second. Now the next closest interval is going to be the major second. So if we play that C note again on the 5th fret of the G string, the G string, and then go to the 3rd fret of the B string on the guitar, that is the note C to D, or a major second. So here's how that sounds. You could do it like this too. I do it on separate strings so you can hear them ring together. If you don't know how to read music, it might be a little confusing, but we've got the tab here too. And another thing my music theory course is going to teach you is how to read music. So. Another great reason to check that out. Minor third is three half steps or C to E flat. This interval is essential in forming any minor chord. Use the first two chords in Tony Iommi's iconic riff Iron Man to remember this interval. So the next interval, we've got a minor third. And let's see, what I'm going to do is make that a flat there. So we have the notes C to E flat, or three half steps. So on the guitar, you've got, that's one half step, two half steps, and boom, there's your minor third. So three half steps, or played on separate strings. And this, of course, is an essential part of the minor chord. Brings on the sadness, which I'm a huge fan of. The major third, or C to E, is next. It's built with four half steps, and this interval is essential for any major chord. Listen to Iron Maiden's Number of the Beast to hear it in action. Okay, next we're going to look at the major third, and this forms the foundation of a major chord. So on the guitar, that's going to be five on the G string, and then we're going to go to five as well on the B string. 
the major third. So here we go. That's how it sounds on the guitar. If you want to play it on the same string, you got one, two, three, four half steps. A lot of doorbells are major thirds. Ding dong. Should be like a major third if it's someone you want to see and a minor third if it's someone you don't want to see, like Cardi B. Don't let her in. The perfect fourth is next. C to F or five half steps. I think of the song, Here Comes the Bride, to remember this one. The okay, the next interval after the major third, we're going to go back to our C here, is the perfect fourth. So that's going to be five on the G string to six on the B string. And those are the notes C and F. Here we go. That's where it is on the guitar. This is the Here Comes the Bride interval. Yes, let's get married. But not to Cardi B. <laughs> oh, Cardi. Most evil interval of all is next. Known as Diabolos in Musica, or the Devil in Music. The augmented fourth or tritone divides the octave in half with six half steps. Use Black Sabbath's Black Sabbath to remember the tritone. The perfect fifth is extremely important for metalheads because it's what makes the sound of a power chord. From C to G or seven half steps. Okay, now for one of my favorite intervals, which is of course the tritone or augmented fourth. So that's from C and then you have F sharp. So five to seven. Here we go, we have the C right there and then the seven on the B string. This perfectly divides the octave in half. It's six half steps, so if you play it three times, six, 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 right? It's basically the negation of tonality. Uh, very dissonant. May the fifth be with you. Okay, next interval is the perfect fifth. That's gonna be fifth fret on the G string to the eighth fret on the B string. The notes are C and G. Beautiful sound. Fifths are so good for writing songs and melodic lines. It's a very strong interval. Next is the minor sixth interval, or C to A flat. Eight half steps in between notes, and I like to use Ozzy Osbourne's Crazy Train to remember this one. Next interval, we're looking at the minor sixth. This is a great one, very dark and brooding. And I'm gonna start skipping strings here now. Whoops, let's let's do this. Let's make that a flat. I prefer looking at a C to A flat. Okay, so on the guitar, we've got our C and then the A flat on the high E string. It's the crazy train interval. Happens right there, right? Not at the very beginning. And I'm playing this in C minor here, the original's F sharp. Right there. That's the part of Crazy Train, that's the minor six. The major sixth is from C to A, or nine half steps.
I can't think of an iconic metal song that uses this interval, so we're gonna go with My Bonnie Lies Over the Ocean. Next interval is the major sixth. I hate this interval. It's just, I, I never seem to be able to find a good use for it. Okay, so we have the notes C to A. A stands for ass. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, major six. You're just not as cool as the minor six. It is what it is. A minor seventh or C to B flat is 10 half steps. Man in a Box by Alice in Chains contains a minor seventh in the opening riff. Okay, great interval next. This is the minor seventh. And what I'm going to do is flat this note there. Okay, so we got a C to B flat. I love the kind of, oh man, I don't know how you describe this. It's just like the vacant, it doesn't really have a, a specific... Uh, statement to make about tonality. It's very ambiguous. It makes for great um, sort of backdrops and film scores and that kind of thing. So you have C to B flat. I just play that all day and listen to it. Of course, this is in Alice in Chains' Man in the Box. The Major seventh is next. That's going to be from C, or the fifth fret on the G string, to the seventh fret on the high E string to catch that B note. B stands for, this is a very dissonant interval. I love how it sounds against, I love using this interval to make chords. Like an A minor nine, for instance. Sounds good against an E bass note too. Beautiful dissonance. The octave is our final interval, or from C to C. That'd be 12 half steps. The main riff in the Immigrant Song by Led Zeppelin is a perfect example of this interval. The last interval is the octave, and that's going to be C all the way back to C on the high E string. I see you there, perfect eighth octave. All right, on the guitar, there it is. I use the immigrant song to teach this one, so that's going to be an F sharp. Great sound. And there you have it, my interval boot camp. This is one of the most important topics to learn about when it comes to music theory, along with things like scales, key signatures, and chords. Now you can get the full tabs for this video at my Patreon page below. As I mentioned earlier, I've got an insane amount of good stuff there for you to check out. Things like my hundreds of YouTube lessons, scale Bible, chord Bible, music theory course, exotic scale bundle, you're going to have a good time. <laughs> now, if you have any ideas for future videos I can do, leave them in the comments below. And until next time, stay evil, my friends. <laughs>